this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to do that and then I would like to introduce you uh, an extension the pen where we can be able to this time pinpoint about the position that cat the cat's bread goes to in when it's turned around position so let's get started first when green flag click we are gonna make it pin down so let's see what it was when we when we go to a random position and then press and then press the pen down so we can see that it goes and makes a kind of line so but and then we are going to press the erase the all part that is that is the part where we're going to erase everything so when it brings like click erase all now that we have up and down what's the point of having this block here although it might make more sense to keep it yes it does so then we are going to choose a forever loop the wait the wait point 25 second loop to go to the go to x and uh, go to a separate x and y that block if you don't want exactly that one you to make it still work you can choose these two but for for now we're gonna choose these okay so let's get so let's get coding so we can see over here that the that the x is at negative 124 and the y is 66 so if you want to move it in a rectangular shape and exact rectangle there's gonna be a little more there's gonna be some that's i'm gonna teach you this okay? so now we're gonna choose it to be exactly 124 why exactly let me explain so if we move it like this and press it and press this we can see that it has a decimal we don't want to have a decimal so we're gonna this time redo the the amount we have already taken so when we click on it it's exactly the number we want same goes for the y position because as you can see it also has a decimal so we're gonna also choose a, a no decimal word for that so now let's get started so over here we are going to go to the operator part and then take to pick pick random one to ten blocks but over here we don't want those for now let's get so here's the real interesting part okay so we can see that the current x is my it's negative 125 so we're gonna type in in one part negative 125 129 negative 129 uh, to 129 because if we are going to go into a certain range we want it to go from negative to positive so let's move it over here so let's move it to x position as the x is like that so and then we're going to go to the y and do the same procedure this time we're going to take 70 but this time we're going to take 76 to negative 76 so let's see what happens we can pinpoint where the cat sprite is going by looking at where it is so we can see that it goes that it goes within a certain range you can see that it does not go out the outside of the borders outside of the certain borders so now we want it to actually go faster just to make things go just to make things go faster but as you can see that the shape inside it isn't going out of bounds so let's restart our code okay so let's wait for a moment until it gets a rectangular shape which is already now so as you can see the cat's progress is making a rectangle but it's not going outside of where the rectangle is going that's with that you can be able to use many ma you can be able to use ma you can use this code to do many to go to many different positions and also as i say that i turned down a kind of request without without this block about how about how we can be able to use this block 
uh, about how we can use a longer code where it will take slightly more work. Well, we are going to choose these two, and this time choose this, choose the same procedure, only in different places. So we can see that it still goes into the same range, but this, but this time in a, in a different way, over and over again. As a matter of fact, it actually looks more neat like this. So we can see that the cat sprite does not go out of bounds by you by using the pen by using the pen. So I'll see you to our next tutorial. See you again. Bye.